Hey there, what's up? If this is your first time here, thank you. Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for watching the videos. But first things first, I want you to like this video. I want you to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Coach Franco Rolioda. I'm on Instagram, at Franco Rolioda. And I'm on TikTok and I'm on Twitter. I use the same name. So I'll see you there. Now, let's watch this episode. Three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Combat Sports Weekly. And of course, I am joined by my fellow Titos of Fighting, Carl De Mesa and JC Reyes of Destroy MNL. And uh, it's been a very, very, very yes. exciting and amazing week for mm -hmm. Pinoy Combat Sports. Mm -hmm. We will cap the, uh, We will begin the show by recapping some of the highlights of this week's Combat Sports events. Um, mm -hmm. Let's start off with one FC on TNT. We will discuss the two major fights that caught our attention. So number one mm -hmm. is Eddie Alvarez, the Eddie Alvarez fight. So El mm -hmm. Eddie Alvarez versus that was sad. That was sad. <laughs> that was. I feel even Eddie I, was sad, bro. Oh, I felt this frustration grab. It's <laughs> it's such a very. Uh, I don't know how to put it. Eh, but I don't know how to put it. It's. It's disappointing. It's frustrating, yeah. but at the same time, you have to understand everything that comes into play when it comes to the dynamics of organizing an event. Next up is the dynamic of the rule set versus yeah. how fighters will determine how they use the rule set to their advantage. <laughs> it's funny we're talking about uh, rule sets because advantage din naman sa kabilang match, yeah. di ba? Oh, di ba? It's it's how you use it against your opponent and mm. how you play around it. Ang he another dynamic that I want people to see is how much referees have an influence towards yeah. the result of a fight and the career mm. of fighters. Yes. Uh, as a referee, syempre, I I'm not gonna. I, I it's it's hard to find the words to describe what I saw. Mm. Siyempre, I would have done things differently. Mm -hmm. I cannot I cannot, and I will not fault the referee for doing the thing mm -hmm. that he was supposed to do. He did tell Eddie. Back of the head, Eddie. Yun nga eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. He did tell Eddie kasi. Ang pinaka, the only thing different that I would have done was mm -hmm. probably stop. Okay? Mm -hmm. Pause the, the fight. Di ba? Mag, mag time ako. Time, pause. Mm -hmm. Then I will remind Eddie of the rule set. Mm -hmm. Kasi... It's what frustrated me more was that it happened in the first round, oh, and it happened in the early stages of the first round. But for me, as a fight fan, I was robbed of an opportunity to watch two no. great fighters perform. Yeah, and as a referee, diba? and as a referee and as an official, diba? you you're part of the show, eh? You're mm -hmm. part of the show. Mm -hmm. You're part of the history of those two fighters. Yes, your job is to make sure that the rules are followed, diba? Mm -hmm. Shempre. It's totally different when you're there, diba? when the lights are on, uh, the product, uh, diba? everyone, the, mm -hmm. the lights are on, everyone's watching, everyone's shouting. It's a totally different experience. Pero dun din papasok yung how much experience do these referees have? Yeah. Diba? Yes. And the exactly. judgment, the judgment call talaga, the judgment call that would, you know, that would determine the result of a fight. Because yeah. why are we talking about that though? Because mm. obviously, Siri Lapicus was gaming, was using yeah. the rule set yeah. to his advantage. Kita kita po. Tama, <laughs> tama, diba? Diba? tama. Exactly, diba? Yeah. Uh, he knew na you couldn't hit, diba? you can't hit at the back of the head. So, what he did now, he covered his face and then he mm -hmm. turned this way. So, it was exposing the back of his head. Siyempre, so, parang was, he was confident siguro na yeah, he was very confident. He was turning his head, titigil na si Eddie. Mm -hmm. I guess. And then, Kaso. Um, for Eddie Alvarez's part, diba? of course, mm. fighters, when they're inside the cage or when they're inside the ring, they would always act on instinct. They would always mm. act based, and they would always perform based on muscle memory. Mm. Uh, this part, si Eddie Alvarez, naman, he should have known better. Diba? He should have, because he's a veteran. Should, should, diba? He's a veteran. He should have known better. He should have known that even though he was trying to use his face to... to to yeah, counterbalance, to, yeah. to turn the face of his opponent. There was a moment there, coach, that he really... Oh, oh, he was leaning. He was leaning towards uh, and then he was trying to turn. Para hindi na ulo eh, no? Mm -hmm. Pero dun din papasok ngayon. For, so for, so mm -hmm. for fighters and for the audience who's gonna watch and listen to this, uh, we've always reiterated that it's so hard to do two to three things at the same time. Mm -hmm. So in that sequence, Eddie Alvarez was trying to attack. 
He was trying mm-hmm. to maintain position. And then at the same time, he was trying to move the face of his opponent towards a direction that would allow him to work within the rules. Oh, mm-hmm. Just to hit the mm-hmm. ear. Yeah. Not- so, uh, Parang it's not just uh, about ano, having the better skill set than, ano, than your opponent. It's also uh, being able to know the rules better. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun, and how to use it to your advantage, yeah. diba? So sobrang yun yung ano, yun yung maganda. Yun yung maganda. Mm. Both fighters knew what they were doing. They were both knowledgeable in the rule set. Lalo na si 1FC, meron siyang very Kaya unique rule set, set eh. diba? It's very Mix unique. Mix of pride and UFC pala. Oh. Yun. Put it lightly, very unique nga kasi mm. very yung spiking unique. wala, diba? Tsaka ano siya, it it allows for more entertainment yeah. but at yes. the same time it's as real as it gets. Yes. Diba? Yun yung, as we'll yun yung see in the next fight that we'll oh, talk oh. about. Diba? So, kung ano lang talaga, <laughs> I mean, I've I've gotten a ton of messages, people asking mm. me, Ref, anong gagawin mo sa situation <laughs> na yun? <laughs> Coach, what, <laughs> how would you have handled that situation? So, I watched it again. Ang pinaka mm. na ano lang ako, as a fight fan, ah, as a fight mm. fan, I was frustrated kasi nga, Parang it was in the beginning of the first round. Sayang. Oh, you guys Sayang. remember ben, Tito Ben Askren versus Luis Santos? Ay, sasabihin ko oh. nga sa ano eh. Diba? <laughs> we were on that, uh, on that event, Kyle. Ay, I think we were yan. both there, diba? Yeah. Like, sobrang galit na galit yung mga tao. Main Gusto event. Nilang... Tapos parang wala pa yatang one wala minute yon. Mm-hmm. Biglang, diba? parang... I mean, ang malala doon, I mean, okay, I pox. Pero wala man lang warning, warning. No contest wala. kagad. Talagang... <laughs> diba? Diba? Tapos diba? agad. Diba? We were robbed as fight fans. <laughs> oh. And then, um, you didn't give... The fighters weren't given a chance to entertain their fans. Oh. Yeah. And they weren't allowed the chance to display their skill sets. Parang... And then... Uh, to Eddie though. Kasi sobrang yeah. klase niyang tao. Oh, oh very classy. Very classy ano. move. Very classy. Ano. Oh, so I, I hope that Yuri is had, fine. Mga ganun yung pa yung unang naisip niya. Ah... Uh, so as a referee naman ako that's what I would have done I would syempre ako I would definitely recognize the fact that these two <laughs> individuals okay, they're doing their job so mm-hmm. my job now is to make sure that they work within mm-hmm. the rules and make sure na when they work within the rules they mm-hmm. are both aware of what I'm doing or saying mm-hmm. kasi they're already fighting tapos kaya ako uh, this is just me ah, as a referee mm-hmm. and uh, this is also In- what I emulate mm-hmm. from high level referees na mm-hmm. When they do a match or when we work inside the cage, it's not you. Mm-hmm. You're not an authority. Okay, mm-hmm. you're an authoritative figure. You mm-hmm. are there to to mediate and to remind. You're a reminder. Uh-huh. You're a reminder to these fighters. Nah, there are rules. You work yeah. within the mm-hmm. rules. Uh-huh. Reminder, so I, siya na to street fight guys. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, <laughs> in, so in now, that scenario, ba if you if you uh, call for a timeout sa gitian situation and you talk to them, how do you reset? For for uh, uh, ako, ako kasi when I pause when I pause uh, fights, uh, that was syempre, subjective siya to the position. Pero yung mm. position kasi ni Eddie Alvarez and Eddie Alvarez and Yuri mm. Lapikos, uh, Eddie was in mount. He has mm. a leg. He his he got both legs laced. Oh, so all I had if if I was the referee, I'd only say stop. Okay, stop or mm-hmm. pause. I'll signal to the timekeeper pause tayo, mm-hmm. and then. I would normally kasi pag ganun, syempre may mga magugulang na fighter. So ako normally yung ginagawa ko doon, I put a hand in between the fighters mm-hmm. where I I immediately grab the offensive fighter's hand mm-hmm. and then I tell them, "Okay, this is the rule set. You're you're kind of veering towards the danger zone." Mm-hmm. Diba? And then I remind them afterwards, "You keep hitting this, I'm going to stop the fight, you'll get disqualified." Mm-hmm. Ganun kaagad. Diba? It's very short. It's a very short na parang mm-hmm. so if we if I if we simulate this Time, stop, stop, Eddie, mm. Yuri, these are the rule set. Eddie, you're fucking up. Yeah. Don't do it or I'm going to disqualify you. So I'm pretty sure and I'm very sure that in that same exact moment, the, the three of us were in the same page. Mm-hmm. And the three of us were listening to the same thing. If Eddie decides to do it again and I disqualify mm-hmm. him, Wala siyang, ano, wala siyang yeah, wala siyang pwedeng no, reklamo. Wala siyang maangal kasi diba? sinabihan na kita eh. Mm-hmm. It clearly shows na, so I showed the audience, I showed mm-hmm. the organization, I showed the fighters na I made sure of the rules, na I made everything clear. Mm-hmm. Diba? So it it kind of provides a cover for everyone. 1FC for mounting an event, mm-hmm. 
again all the combat sports organizations who are Congrats mounting sa US debut diba? ninyo. Oh, diba? who are mounting events at such a difficult time, you are mm-hmm. making things happen. So good job you made to quite NFC. the noise in the US. Oh, oh diba? <laughs> yung pa, diba? Yung pa. You Ariel made Helwani quite Ariel was blowing yeah. up, diba? diba? You made quite an impression on the United States market. This mm-hmm. is a very good step towards uh, you know, getting an audience there. So mm-hmm. it couldn't get any better, diba? Yeah. Especially with the DJ, <laughs> diba? Demetrius Johnson versus Adriano Moraes. Adriano Moraes. So uh, this was for the belt. So wait, wait. Demetrius Johnson versus Andre Moraes for the belt. Mm. And, Adriano. Uh, Adriano. Adriano. So Sir mm. Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse versus Adriano Moraes for the belt. In a fight where in DJ kind of look really small. Mm. Actually. <laughs> diba? People were actually saying na magka weight class ba yan blah 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 guys uh, naman parang, parang lang si DJ pero hindi naman uh, siya he's, ano, he's diba? kind of a stocky small yeah. guy stocky diba? small guy yung nakikita uh, ko nga na comments pa about that for parang uh, I I with I thought parang sabi ng isa I thought one uh, championship Uh, was doing hydration tests parang na sobra hmm. na hydration yung isa <laughs> na sobra na lumobo grabe daw kayo dudes kayo ganoon ang sarap naman no mali talaga si DJ pero mali, mali talaga, talaga si DJ, si DJ. oh mali talaga si DJ um mm-hmm. pero yun nga I, i forgot kung kailan ba natin to discuss pero Mm. DJ's move to 1FC. I think this this was one of our earlier episodes. Yeah. You know, DJ's um, move to 1FC um, will probably expose him. Kasi yeah. na kasi kasi yeah. now he kasi, will be fighting, <laughs> diba? So DJ fights at 135 against against opponents who are naturally fighting at 135. Mm-hmm. So, yes. diba? Against he was during his UFC days kasi mm-hmm. he was probably fighting fighters who were exceptionally drained. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Whereas, John Dodson. Oh, John Dodson, no? diba? So <laughs> coming to coming to One FC where everyone is very comfortable at 135. Mm. Syempre, mag-iiba yung <laughs> mag-iiba yung dynamic, mag-iiba yung mm-hmm. skill set, eh, mag-iiba yung level of performance. Mm. So uh, Although, he, I mean, you know, he had impressive debut pa lang naman niya, debut pa lang naman ni ni Mighty Mouse sa One. Medyo sabi na ng mga tao, uy, medyo malapit niya yata ito. Mukhang dito siya madadali. Kasi hmm. yung debut niya with Tatsumi Tsuwada yata yun. Ang ganda yun. Siya. Ang ganda nung laban nila. Oh, oh, oh. That was a really good fight. Tapos, Sinan, yun ah. it, it kind of it, it showed some of the kinks in his armor. Hmm. Di ba? And hmm. then, medyo... Medyo man eh. Para, parang yung hype train ni DJ parang pagdating nung after nung laban na yun na parang oy, teka, parang tao. Medyo, medyo parang tao slow pala down. si DJ. Oh, no? oh, oh, <laughs> parang hindi pala, pala si mighty ma- hindi pala mighty si Mighty Mouse. No? <laughs> parang, there are apparently a lot of people in the 1FC roster that can um, mm. di ba, uh, kaya pala siyang yeah, sabayan. So, you remember bit, guys, I sent you a short video nung pre-ano ni na one. He was saying there na, na medyo nahirapan siya kay Danny. Ah. I don't know mm, if that's true or just mm, hype. Mm. But for him to say that, wow, that's such a huge yeah. thing. Kasi yung striking down nila, ibang iba. So uh, this is going to be interesting how how this will now affect... Now I want to see ca- a rematch. Oh, diba? The <laughs> career trajectory of, ano, of DJ and how he yeah. will adjust. He's a very smart yeah. fighter. Uh, another good example is uh, another good detail is since everyone's uh, accustomed to fighting at 135 another one is mm. he's been fighting for too long and he's yeah. fighting at an organization wherein he doesn't really have an idea who his fighters are versus his opponents who has a ton of video of him fighting oh, oh. Yeah, then you so he couldn't really study his opponents but his mm. opponents can all study him there's something Saka, syempre, about CDJ No first round, I thought mm-hmm. he was doing well. Actually, he, was. Uh, he was. He was. Yeah. He was. He was actually doing well. He was doing re- pretty well. Uh, he just got caught and then just got mm-hmm. caught. You know, yun. uppercut, no? Started. Uh, Nasanay uh-huh. sa, sa certain rule sets. Na this is where we analyze and see the differences mm-hmm. between the rule sets of different organizations yeah. and how fighters adjust to them. Uh, definitely. DJ knew that you were allowed to get knee as a grounded mm-hmm. opponent. Pero, Americans didn't, bro. Diba, diba? Pero apparently, <laughs> he didn't know. Diba? But apparently, they didn't, <laughs> he didn't know or a lot of people in the American audience had no idea that number one, it was allowed in 1FC. Mm-hmm. Number two was that 
how devastating, di ba, in terms Parang of changing eh, the diba? complexion of the fight, di ba? So if we're talking about display of martial arts and yeah. the realities of actual yeah. fighting, it's true, right? Naman talaga, oh, diba? oh, While you're standing oh. up, you can get elbows, yeah, yeah. you can get knee yeah. to the face. Talaga, yeah. ano eh, di ba? Um, yeah, diba? Isn't that why we have the technical stand-up? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Nalala ko tuloy yung... Nalala ko tuloy yung sinabi niya, yung tweet niya nung ano eh, nung... Aljamain? Uh, Aljamain Sterling's performance eh. Alam mo, to to ako doon. He should be allowed eh. Tapos, he set an example. He showed why knees are good. Alam mo, it's like Aljamain Sterling tweeting about Kneeing, to, getting knee to the face or kneeing to Send the face. The at, the time, down, you know, <laughs> at the time we're in, you became champion because of an illegal knee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> medyo ano siya, medyo it's, it's down, ironic. Diba? Mm-hmm. Number one, those are two different organizations, two different yeah, rule exactly. sets. Okay? Yeah. Pero it's, it, I mean, it, it puts attention to his to his Twitter account. It does. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's a good way to, I mean, it's indirectly benefiting 1FC as well as an yeah. organization. Mm-hmm. Would like you guys think that itong, y- yung... It, uh, at least itong laban ni DJ and ni, ni Moraes would uh, say na you know high level din talaga medyo nandun sa UFC level yung mga fighters ng one or not exactly depende siya sa ano depende siya sa division so, uh, uh, it really depends uh, Ako, it really depends uh, on who are the matchups Siyempre, when you talk about the fighters, the fighters will always say yes diba? it's an yeah. opportunity for them to Pero compete eh. it's an opportunity for them to earn money mm-hmm. now uh, on the business side, which rule sets are we going to follow? Oh, who will uh, be yeah, the uh, athletic uh, commissions? Yes. Who will do the testing? What so kind of tests? For sure, small. they won't allow those knees, man. Oh, yeah. uh, so, so which, which, which countries are, go, are we going to cater to? So mm-hmm. when you put, if it's just the fighters, definitely they will say yes, 100%. Now, when you put when you factor in the business side, medyo dun, dun magiging tricky. Pero hopefully, mm. tignan natin, tignan natin. It's, ako, I would definitely watch anything that's cross-promotional kasi there are always, just oh. to put debates to rest na, oh. okay, this so-and-so organization is better than so-and-so. Kasi, um, we, in as much as everyone or everyone who's at the highest level or the number one contenders or high level fighters are in the UFC there are mm-hmm. fighters from different promotions yeah. na who can definitely beat or sabi na natin be at par with these fighters yeah. diba mm. and more often than not ito yung mga money fights po siya yeah. yeah. yun take a look at our Tito Ben versus Jake Paul grabe no it's it's ako uh Libre boxing, guys. boxing, boxing. Jake is gonna be at an advantage. But pero, pero <laughs> he hasn't really fought a fighter. Yeah. Ben Askren is a fighter, yeah. so he hasn't. Iba been... yung we mean by that? Sure. Makunat si Tito Ben. <laughs> hindi, hindi na yun eh. <laughs> hindi iba yung daganong. Iba yung iba yung more if you. Kasi I mean, mag mag spar oh. ka nga lang sa pro fighter, medyo iba na, iba na eh. Hmm. It's it, yeah 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 yeah. Yung sinabi ni JC. It's like oh. a high level practitioner who's been hmm. going to the gym for five years suddenly hmm. decides to spar with a professional yeah. fighter. Yun parang, ang mangyayari dyan. Yun ang mangyayari dyan. For uh, instance, parang uh, uh, yung parang sa akin before. Yung mga kasama ko ng mga students kami sa gym before. Kami kami nagsispar. Tapos biglang one FC fighter na coach na sa gym. Sige, para nga masanay ka, tayo mag-spar. Sabi ko, patay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Iba siya, iba. It's, uh, iba, iba talaga. The, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to watch. Mm. I will, def- we would definitely yes. watch it for entertainment purposes, mm. but when it comes to... I don't to... think we can't watch. Oh. Yeah, pero... Sabi nila parang these things are, are uh, destroying boxing? But is oh, it come really? on. Uh, at... There were more people at Floyd <laughs> no. versus Connor at that fucking restaurant I went to than any other <laughs> Yeah, di ba? Or even pero... boxing. A- ano siya? Even... <laughs> it's... At the end of the day, it's all about money. Uh, it it's all about pay-per-views. It so it's oh, entertainment. Oh, eh. Like, I was slapping my head after Connor versus Lloyd. Pero nag-on pa rin ako. 
Hindi, nanood ko rin kasi <laughs> yeah, it's entertaining, yeah. diba? It's yeah, entertaining. It it's hmm. it's something that you, parang it will pique your interest talaga eh. Hmm. So this oh, one, this definitely oh, piqued diba? everyone's interest. Yeah. Tapos, medyo everyone's, everyone was leaning towards Jake Paul kasi nga he had pretty mm-hmm. good boxing, Ben mm-hmm. Askren as a wrestler. People young, are yeah. forgetting na he is an actual fighter. So magkaiba mm-hmm. yun, di ba? Next, during the press, yung press tour or yung press oh, call, oh, yeah. di ba pare, Super si Ben Askren, pretty. talagang ginanon yung sanay, mukha. Sanay. <laughs> talagang Wala ginanon yung mukha ni Jake oh. Paul. Wala siyang <laughs> pakialam. No fucks <laughs> were given. <laughs> oh. Di ba, absolutely no fucks were given. Kasi nga, alam niya na, this is a child. <laughs> di ba, this is a child. <laughs> Even if he's, di ba, he got sucker yan. punched, he got pushed. <laughs> Pero alam niya na, yun lang ang gagawin mo. Kasi, kasi the moment that you start engaging with me, I'm gonna fucking hip throw you here to the concrete. <laughs> sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni Ben, di ba? He will, he will hurt uh, Jake Paul even if, if he gets disqualified. Guys, di ba rin ang matikyo? Basta makita ko ng snack. Uh, <laughs> A- ako, feeling ko talaga, Ben Askren is not gonna box with Jake Paul. He's, he's gonna... He's gonna yeah. fight him. Mm-hmm. Na tipong, okay, you want to be, you want to know how it feels like to be mm-hmm. inside a ring with an actual fighter. Yeah. Sige, yung mga uh, tipong pinagsusuntok uh, na siya ni Jake Paul pero nakita ni Ben, nak- makikita ni Jake Paul na parang puta, bakit nakatayo pa rin to? Di ba? Bakit nakata? Di ba? Baka baka naman sabihin na naman ng mga tao pag nakita to, ay Si Ben Askren that. yakap lang ng yakap. <laughs> I I doubt <laughs> na. na. He'll probably cover <laughs> up. He'll probably cover up. Di ba? Oh, yeah. He'll probably So, uh, another detail. Sige, sabihin natin yakap siya ng yakap. Pero he's mm. gonna be clinching and hugging yeah. in a very tactical manner. manner. And I Yung wonder people, what gloves they will squeeze use. He'll probably squeeze his body. Summer. He'll probably yeah. lean on him more. Uh-uh. Yeah, those, those, are very, those are the things that we're gonna watch out. So, and speaking of boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Uh, grab it. Uh, Mark Magsayo, Jerwin yeah, Angkahas. Yes. Amazing, amazing Ooh. outing over the weekend. So let's talk first uh Mark Magsayo. Uh JC, uh, sino bang nakalaban ni Mark Magsayo for si... this one? It's Pablo Cruz. Okay. So, <laughs> Mark Mark Magnifico Magsayo versus Pablo Cruz mm-hmm. over at uh Showtime Boxing uh, mm-hmm. amazing outing by by Mark Magsayo uh so, knocking down his opponent twice in like the fourth round and then finishing him off in the uh, and then, mm-hmm. he got he knocked down his opponent parang twice in the second or third round then finished mm-hmm. him off in the ano fourth ba JC fourth round diba fourth, fourth or fifth round so uh, one thing that that I really love about uh Magsayo's performance on this one was the the improvements in terms of the improvements that he had training under Freddie Roach in terms of uh, his footwork, his pacing, mm-hmm. uh, the killer instinct was there. He was throwing a lot of jabs. And then he was more patient when it comes to setting up his shots. Mm-hmm. So the, mm-hmm. if you watch the fight again, first round, he was throwing a lot of a lot of hooks. He was throwing a lot of walloping, wallowing punches with his left hand. Mm-hmm. Tapos, he was patient. He was calculating. He was trying to see what his reactions ng kalaban niya. Then come the second and third round where in he started combining his punches. Now, uh, for for boxing fans out there, the the tactic naginawanya was he would focus his opponent's attention on his left side, and then mm-hmm. he would throw a lot of left jabs, mm-hmm. left hooks, left uppercuts. So now the attention is just on one hand. By oh. the second third round. He, he he started involving his right hand. So dun yung nakikita ngayon, double hooks finish with a straight double hooks then he would come inside throw an uppercut. So nagkakaroon na ngayon ng variety of attacks. Now overwhelm na ngayon yung kalaban niya. Hmm. Saan ba manggagaling yung yung suntok? Saka I, I love how he was throwing quality punches, piling-piling hmm. punches niya. Ta sobrang accurate nung nung nagsisimula nakikita niya na pumapasok na tsaka siya nagbabato ng flurry of punches so mm-hmm. si kalaban niya hindi na alam gagawin talaga for whoever is going to watch that fight again and we encourage mm-hmm. you to watch that fight again remember what JC said okay he was throwing quality punches mm-hmm. when you say you're throwing quality punches hindi ka nagpapagod hindi ka mm-hmm. nag-aaksaya hindi ka ba? everything was loose, calculated in this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, he was very loose ko galing ko ba, it, it was very <laughs> it was very good to see that that he was very loose inside that yeah. ring uh whenever whenever he would throw a punch he would make sure that his distance was accurate 
Mm-hmm. And at the same time, maganda yung level of ang- angling out niya. So, watch where Magsayo's foot was. Watch mm-hmm. where... Alamin nyo kung saan siya bumubuelo every mm-hmm. time he would throw a jab and every time he would throw hooks. So, first, second round, single hooks. Single hook coverage siya. By the middle of the second and towards the third, nakikita nyo lagi, double hooks kagal. Kasi oh. nung nakuha niya yung rhythm and yung timing niya with single hooks, double, ang dami niyang binatong double hooks. Dami. Uh, ang galing. Ang Saka galing talaga. Ang galing talaga. Ang galing talaga. He turned up the notch by the second and the third round. Yeah. So, that's why, uh, that's why really smart fighters with really smart coaches mm-hmm. would always y- utilize the first round as the gauging round. Kaya pag, ano diba, feeling out round si first round lagi. Kasi, mm-hmm. and he didn't waste the time and the opportunity to actually fill out his opponent. Nung so, nakita niya, mm-hmm. kuha niya na yung rhythm, kuha niya na yung timing, ayun, bato na siya ng bato. He was, <coughs> he was pretty confident. By the, pag nakita mo nga, by the, by the second, third round, iba na yung level of confidence niya eh. Iba na rin yung, yung Nung pacing niya. niya na, yun na eh. Parang, sige, bahala ka, bumantok ka ng suntok mo, basta, sa pulga sa akin, kahit ano mangyari. Parang ganun eh. Ba- parang ano pa nga eh, Uh, if I remember correctly, one of the sequences there, he knew that he staggered his opponent quite a mm. bit. Mm. Na nung pagbalik, pag resume ng action, pag bato na yung jab, bumagsak yung kalaban niya. Masa may okay. sequence doon. If you watch it uh. again, masa the first knockdown, I think it was the first knockdown, it was from a jab. Mm. Pero uh, when you f- don't focus on the jab and the knockdown, watch prior to the watch the prior sequences. In- isipin niyo agad yung accumulation of punches. Diba? Even the referee saw that by the fourth round, nung bumagsak, wala na. This is, this is done. Uh, there was swelling on the right mm-hmm. peak of, of Cruz. Um, he wasn't really covering up. He didn't have enough time to adjust. Oh. Fourth or fifth round victory, technical nice. knockout. That was an amazing fourth performance. Uh, time Pero, was spent. Mexican Cruz. What do you think uh, should be Mark Magsayas' next move? Uh Do you think he should fight more quality fighters? Kasi, I mean, issue din yan ngayon. Kasi parang sinasabi nila kung sino-sino pa lang pa rin ang kinakalaban ni Mark Magsayo. Ang ganda ng record niya, but he's not exactly fighting uh, the fighters that he's supposed to fight And ako, sa featherweight division. Ako, pagkaganyan, uh, number one, it's, it a man- man- to... it's a management decision. <laughs> it's a uh, promotional decision. Mm, yeah. Siyempre, when you if you ask Mark Magsayo, mm. Mark Magsayo, the individual, the fighter in him, the Filipino mm. in him, he would definitely say, fight for the title. Kahit sino pa yan, game yan. Yeah. Diba? I've, I've... Kasi right now, he's 22-0. Mm. Mm. Diba? Mm. Ang problema kasi is, that's the problem with the boxing industry. Mm. Diba? It takes time to yeah. build up a fighter and it only takes yeah. one loss to actually destroy that whole structure. Yeah. And oh, uh, it's been the tradition Diba? Oh, it's been boy. a tradition. It's not yeah. like MMA na... Madaling makabawi din pag natalo. Oh, eh. Like someone who is young, very young, who mm-hmm. has been winning impressively can get a title shot right away. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Si boxing kasi, siguro rin kasi ang daming boxers, ang daming organizations, there are so much things at play, the politics, the... the mm-hmm. yung, tapos boxing has been... Uh, has been tagged as one of the dirtiest organizations or sports out there in terms yeah. of business. So, yeah. there are so many factors that come into play. So, let's say Magsayo is 22 and 0. Uh, you're only good as your last fight. And this oh, is Magsayo's okay. last fight. It was very impressive whether mm. the guy is ranked or not. Ano lang naman yan eh. Uh, depende sa management niya, depende sa assessment ng coach niya. Pero so, let's say kay... kay Freddy tsaka sa sino yung management niya. They'll probably go uh-huh. after You also have to understand in boxing, if you lose one to whoever, diba? a ranked fighter or a non-ranked fighter, medyo ano siya, uh, it's going to be hard to get another fight. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a, even if it's a slow build-up, it's a good build-up. Mm-hmm. Then afterwards, diba? go top 15, top 10, top 5, title shot. Kasi mm-hmm. sabihin na nating three fights muna prior to a title shot, those three fights will allow... Mark Magsayo to develop more as a fighter. Diba? Yes. Uh, he's in the States. He's training at Wild Card. Mm. Uh, not unless there are other things that are taking his time. Diba? Dapat nagtitraining ka lang. Diba? That's your focus. That's your... Well, so, supposedly pala sa WBO featherweight rankings, mm. si Mark Magsayo, at, at least dito sa ano, box.live 
mm. na website ah. They collate yung mga ano, eh, rankings from all the major ano, eh, mm. major major organizations. Uh, organizations in number 8 is WBO. Oh, diba? Number 8. So, so may something na to. So number 8 kalaban hindi to. JC Magdaleno. Hmm. Medyo bigat yata yun na. Number So if it's number 8, he could probably fight someone within the top 10 or the top 15. Yeah. Diba? Then afterwards, ako, more fights is good. Mm-hmm. Kasi you get experience. Kasi who's the champion right now at the featherweight division? Emmanuel Navarrete. So, sa so Eman- WBO. Uh, sa... Okay, yung... Ayun, dun siya uh, number 8 eh. Sa so WBC, Ga- Gary Russell Jr. Medyo oh. mabigat pa yun. Mabigat Pero number yun. 6 siya sa WBC rankings. Mm. Diba? So... Yeah. He, he's up there. He's top 10. Oh. So, he could probably fight someone within the top 10 or top 15. Mm. Then get another fight. See how you feel. And then go for a sh- title shot. Mm. Kasi that's a, that's a good trajectory to be in. Kasi at least this you performance showed sure? na he can still improve. And mm-hmm. he is improving. Mm-hmm. So, what more pa kung you give him a few more fights? Mm-hmm. Diba? A, a few more like, wins will boost his mar- with his will boost his stock. Mm-hmm. Tapos, mm-hmm he could ask for more money. Diba? So, uh, how many fights do you think before he fights? Like, Ako, probably uh, top two. five guy. Top five guy, dalawa. Uh, then, uh-huh. title shot. Kasi maganda nga eh. So, it's good marketing. It's good PR uh-huh. for him. Diba? He can uh-huh. ask for more money. Diba? Tapos, this is uh, IBF builds. pala. Number five sa. Sa WBC, number six. Oh. Sa WBO, number eight. And sa... Ring, I don't know if it matters. The ring featherweight rankings, he's number seven. Oh, at least the hindi siya ano. Siya. At least yung start, yung ano niya, hindi siya, hindi masyadong malayo. Hmm. Diba? Hindi masyadong malayo. I mean, if all organizations are ranking him within the same range, yeah. diba? Ibig sabihin, ano siya, consistent. Mm-hmm. Ako naman sa, ako, the way under, the way I, I understand this industry sa boxing is, ano eh, mm-hmm. you have to be consistent and you have to be mm-hmm. entertaining. A slow build-up is a good build-up. Mm-hmm. Better to slow build-up than risk. Oh, slow yeah. build-up. Sa boxing, ah, sa boxing, uh-huh. slow build-up is good. Slow build-up. Kasi, Although, how slow is slow? Kasi, ano ba ba siya? Ilan taon na ba si Magsayo? 25? 25. He's 25. Diba? He'll probably peak at 29. He'll mm-hmm. probably pick at 29. Ah, so, he could use those years to train and develop. Kasi, what we've seen now, the improvements uh-huh. that we've seen now are improvements. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are still so many things that he can add to his arsenal. There are so many things that Freddie Roach can teach him. And, yung, yung build-up na makukuha niya with at least two to three more fights leading to a title mm-hmm. shot will allow him the experience para ma- ma-maintain yung title na yun. Mm-hmm. Kasi once you become champion, you have to, ano eh, you have to defend. So, mm-hmm. and, spe- sure. and speaking of title defenses, the next guy we're gonna talk about has defended the title so many times. So, Jerwin Angkahas. Grabe. Jerwin Angkahas has been... Uh, Pero kung kwentuhan namin to ng mga tito <laughs> sa fighting kanina dahil ang daming ang criticism about Jerwin Angkahas uh-huh. being... He's a technical fighter. Okay, he's a technical fighter. He's a boxer. Uh, he's been getting criticisms about not being an exciting fighter. Ganyan, ganyan, yada, yada. And, uh, uh, para sa akin kasi when it comes to things like that, kayo kaya, kayo na kaya mag-boxing. <laughs> kaya na kaya mag-boxing. <laughs> Able to defend his, tit- his IBF title for like, ano na ba? Eight times? Nine times? Kasi ang tagal na. Ang tagal niya ng parang title na yun. alam ko, siya, ngayon ata, siya may pinakamaraming def- uh, title defense. Title girl. defense. Yeah. Kasi since he's held this title since 2016. Nine times nga. Ninth time Nine na times. Na. Oh, yun. So, if you were able to defend your title nine times, oh, diba? Na. Diba? Yeah. You, it simply Although, means that you are consistent. Yeah. And um, you are a legitimate high-level boxer. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people kasi see, yeah. see boxing as... Uh, only the, A lot of people, majority of the audience kasi only see boxing mm-hmm. for its entertainment value. Yeah. Diba? Iilan lang talaga yung kaya mag-dissect ng... ng there are only a few people who have who has a higher level of appreciation of the art mm-hmm. and the science yeah. behind it. Si Jerwin ang kahas naman kasi, even though that people will always say na hindi siya, 
hindi siya exciting panoorin pero he's a mm-hmm. technician so for yeah. example me i have i have, i appreciate boxing a lot whenever i mm-hmm. watch him i see his technical proficiency ang taas oh. talaga uh, pag nakikita mo yung, yung technical uh, uh, skills ng isang boxer it's not gonna be boring for you oh <laughs> ang ganda ba? ganda ng footwork niya he has a lot of he uses a lot of his jabs Mm-hmm. The way he covers distance is very high level. Yung kumbaga yung ring IQ niya mataas. Mm-hmm. Oh. And he fights smart. Mm-hmm. He fights smart. However, for this fight, for some weird reason, nakipagsabayan siya dun sa kalaban niya. <laughs> uh, Grabe. For, for the first time at uh, ato na nakipags, uh, why again, nakipagslag why, siya sa kalaban niya. Why do you think that is? Is there something going on in this? Uh, ay, ay, Ewan ko. Siguro nakikin siya sa ko, mga bashers niya. <laughs> baka baka Ayaw, Nagbabad sa drama. social media masyado. Oh, kasi, kasi siguro, during the time off, siguro he had plenty of time to look at the comment section. Ah, hindi, isang, isang na naalala ko dito kasi, uh, I remember parang sa trash talkan, John Casimero, Casimero, Casimero at oh. si, si uh, Inoue. Mm. Biglang nasingit ni, ni Bob Arum yung pangalan ni Jeren na Ancas. Ah as a possible opponent for Inoue. For Inoue, oh. So, nabanatan. So, parang, humirit si, ano, na, na-offend si Cuadro Alas. siguro na nanghirit si Cuadro Alas. Na, shit, bakit ako lalagpasan? Hmm. Sino lang naman yan si Jerwin Ancajas? Shout Champion out to... nga siya. Pero, I mean, hindi na, hindi siya bumibenta. Parang ganun yung sinasabi niya, parang hindi siya bumibenta. Hmm. Bakit siya? Tapos, binaba- sinasabi niya na kung ano-ano, nag-pay attention bigla si Jerwin sa so, sinasabi ni, sa so, sinabi ni Uh, Casimero and ng mga fans kasi yung mga followers din naman ni Casimero medyo grabe din talaga o oh, syempre <laughs> di ba fan base yan fan oh, base shout out to Quadro so, Alas nahiritan si Jerwin I guess naging factor yon for Jerwin slugging it out suddenly with some opponent di ba <laughs> Si Tito Carl, been paying attention to the comment mm. section and the Facebook trolling of the fans. <laughs> Madya siguro tinanong. Pero, pero, pero sabihin natin, sige, he, he probably got affected mm. whether he admits it or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was mm-hmm. just, hindi naman siya out of character kasi mm-hmm. magaling naman talaga si oh. Angkahas. Pero yun nga, eh, it, was, it was definitely out of strategy siguro mm. for for the lack of a better term and understanding na parang he would always fight I, I don't know that it's part of his actual game plan yung ginawa uh-huh. niya that, that fight was very impressive kasi I mean entertaining 100% yeah pero I, but also the technical proficiency was still there his infighting mm. was mm. on point as Sabi, no? the fights close if you watch the fight again and analyze it closely ang daming infighting na nangyari. Yeah. So, a lot of the infighting allowed him to actually throw his uppercuts. It was hella entertaining. Mm. Pero, he took more damage. He was taking more punches than the usual Jerwin Angkahas yeah. fight. And, um, I don't know, he was probably trying to prove something to himself yeah. or to his fans or to his detractors. Pero, di ba? I mean, Pero nakita natin yun. Pero, yung strategy yun, if- would be dangerous for someone like say oh, Juan kasi Francisco if he was, Because if he was fighting someone who would hit harder, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. the, the punches that he... Sobrang dami rin nun. I mean, oh. marami for a Jerwin ang kahas fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pero siguro naisip din niya na I can probably take this guy's punch mm-hmm. so nakipagsabayan siya. Mm-hmm. He was slugging. Yeah. Slugging in that fight. Makunod din naman si Jerwin kasi hindi mm-hmm. naman siya natumba. I mean, mm-hmm. si Rodriguez pa nga yung ano eh, Natum- uh, na 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 A- ako for me, from from the fight, from a fighter's perspective, na mm. he probably thought na para I can take this guy's punches, mm. diba? I, yeah. I have his timing, yeah. I can take his punches. 
Then, sige, I want to prove mm. a point. Sige, may pagsabay yeah, na ako yeah, dito. It, it, it kind of sounds it, like that's what he wanted to do, di ba? Uh, mm. Let him bang, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> parang, parang show off a little more confidence oh, diba? than let, let's, usual. Ano, let's, let's, let's give people something to talk about. And mm. that he did, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. La- that he did. Ang ganda. Uh, congratulations to... Mark Magsayo mm-hmm. for a very impressive win. Jerwin Ancahas for showing another side of his boxing skills. Yes. A little bit dangerous, pero yes. it was so nice to watch. The 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 techniques were still there. Ang ganda pa rin, pero and, uh, I hope yeah, he a little bit more dangerous more. <laughs> than what we expected. Uh, then we will Speaking go. Impressive wins. Impressive wins. Yes. We are heading to Thailand. Yes. To Thailand for. Uh, Wait, hardcore it's Muay Thai's uh, <laughs> amazing production. If you watch that, if you watch that show, si Hardcore Muay Thai, ang ganda ng production nila. Uh, and oh, then of course, one of our so, very own uh, Maroc anyway. Force Gyms, Fritz Biagtan. Mm-hmm. Super impressive Grabe, wins. Uh, I'm not even gonna try. We're not gonna try. Ako, I'm not gonna try to say the name of his opponent because I might mess it up. Uh, <laughs> pero <laughs> Something. He's from War Warnaya. Uh, ah, wait. Fritz uh, Biagtan just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. I really well, hope that he maintains this trajectory. I really hope that he stays focused because he is on the path towards greatness. Ang ganda ng performance niya. Yeah. He gets better with every outing. And for this fight, he stopped his opponent in the third round via a body shot. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I would like to uh, no, I, <laughs> but one thing I'd like to 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 point out is the level of confidence and comfort of Fritz oh. Biagtan mm. inside that ring. He was very playful. He oh. looked like a moai. He, 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 like he was having fun. He was having fun. He looked like a Thai fighter. He did. He did. Ba, he may was, ano ba? May gamesmanship na oh ano ano? May may pagkasensay. <laughs> if, if you were looking for a perfect performance, Fritz Biagtan's performance on that mm. fight that was, was, it, man. was in eight probably. ounce gloves, guys. No? Uh, oh. MMA gloves and a moai Thai fight. Ang ano ano ko nga? We'll try to get Fritz over to the show to explain the rule set. Oh, Kasi, Mm. Parang I didn't see much elbows tapos oh, nice. mabilis yung mm. mabilis yung I, one thing that I like uh, is within the clinch mabilis ang separation. Yeah, uh, yeah, ang bilis. It parang, sounds like parang parang sa one super show series with, din. Ano? Ano? Mm. One super oh. series din na mabilis lang ang clinch. Mabilis lang. Pero kasi sa kanila guys, yung card chewek na fights which means walang knockdowns na counted. Mm. May ganun eh. Oh, so, ito, ang dami ng knockdowns eh. nung kalaban. Ano? Oo, oh, oh, ganda may gano'n eh. Hindi yun sila din. na, ano, diba? Ang ganda mm. nung, ang ganda nung mga, nung mga, nung mga catches ni Fritz. Mm. The catches were mm-hmm. really good, oh. properly timed. It was beautiful to watch. And then he would follow it up with foot sweeps. Diba? The foot sweeps were Dumps. super yeah. beautiful Rabbit. to watch. Watch <laughs> it on YouTube. Meron siyang time na, meron siyang time na bit na niya sa labas. Na niya sa labas. <laughs> <laughs> Natawa <laughs> ako doon sa bit na to sa labas eh. Diba? That was, diba? It was, Man, it was diba. good. He was having fun. His demeanor was loose. He was confident. And um, he wasn't afraid he to was. throw. Yeah. Congrats to Marok I, Force. Uh, he, diba? Marok, like that, that, no? that, the, it, it's a clear indication of the Grabe. training program, the coaches, and the training Parang... partners that he has over there at Marok Force Gyms yes. in Thailand. So it was in... Um, another thing, yun nga, we were discussing this uh, prior to this episode. Uh, it was as if fate just brought them together. Him, oh, wow. the Zamboanga siblings, they started off um, yeah. fair text. They met each other there. And then their transfer to Maroc first gym was mm. definitely a huge oh. blessing to their careers. And now they're fighting in huge organizations and bringing pride not only to themselves, not I only wonder, to their gyms, but also to the country. I wonder like how... how... Uh, say Drex and even si uh, Jeremy Meado would fare mm. sa mga laban nila now that they're there with Maroc Force. Kasi last fight ni Jeremy's Drex, he was still in Maroc. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Jeremy and his wife are, are, are in Maroc Force na. Baka, Ooh, nice. ko, ang balita ko yata is baka mag Muay Thai fight yata yung wife Jeremy niya or something. Uh, pero si Jeremy 
uh, wala pang natuloy na laban. Alam ko, hmm. there were some offers, pero yung travel issues, medyo... Pero at least, ayan, they're in a gym wherein oh. maganda yung gamit I and agree. more importantly, they are in the presence of high-level fighters that will help them improve, that oh, will push them. Grabe daw yung push sa kanila doon to, mm. to, to maximize their skills. Good, I mean, physically, oh. the oh, spot oh. check. Yeah. That was, he was he was very, very impressive. I, mean, I, was, I was so happy to watch that mm. fight. Ang galeng, ang galeng. Mm. Parang his opponent didn't belong there with him. Parang he was there. <laughs> parang okay. Parang okay. First round, the guy was like, okay, yeah, I can take it, I can take it. By the second mm. round, <laughs> Ah, okay. This guy is really good. And then, <laughs> what I love about that fight was uh, Fritz was able to utilize and practice, probably practice a lot of his combinations. He was going mm. low. He was going to the body. Yeah. He was going yeah. to the head. Uh, he was able to to utilize yung mga, yung mga, yung mga low kicks. Niya. Mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't really seen him throw a, a, head, a head kick or a body kick masyado, oh, pero... Yung, yung hand speed, hand foot eye coordination was was definitely there. Rami so, hand speed niya, no? <laughs> congratulations to That's, Maroc Force Gym. Yes. Congratulations to uh, Fritz Biagdan mm. for a very, very impressive win. Yeah. Yes. And um, for your Tito's editorial, uh, <laughs> this this became viral. Okay? This yes. became viral over the last few days. This was that's why we 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 want to discuss this not because of the virality of the video but because yes. uh, we'll probably Ganda play it <laughs> in front of you. Pero what we want people to understand is to have a better grasp and understanding <clears throat> of how fast an actual fight can happen. How yes. fast is the escalation? How fast an actual fight is, and mm-hmm. the human dynamics that come into yeah. play. Mm-hmm. The okay, violence so, and the streets is different, guys. Yes. Oh, oh, I said, for example, it's just real this, as this, it can. Ano to? So, this was your typical road altercation na nag aaway ang isang may kotse oh, at isang nakamotor. Diba? Nag, oh. For we don't know the backstory, pero for sure, nagkagirian, nagkapikunan, na, na, na mainit ang mga ulo na Pilipino, nagsigawa, oh. nagmurahan, and then, of course, naghamunan. Now, if you watch the video closely and you dissect it, okay, never mm. mind the, ano, um, this is where human dynamics come into play. So, si nakamotor, sinabi niya na kagad, for me, these are the things that you watch out. Sinabi na lang kagad niya, umalis ka na, umalis ka na. Diba? He was telling the other guy. Yeah, and then, man. typical Pinoy din. Diba? Or siguro, <laughs> typical human being, we have this urge to prove mm-hmm. to people, to ourselves, oh. and to others, that we have Ama to be ako. right. Yeah. Yes. We have to be right. Tsaka, I need to have the last say. Yun! Oh. 100%. I have to have Aba the last ako, eh. say. Kailangan ako diba? yung ano, mahuli. Kailangan ako yung bida dito. It's it's all about ego. Okay? This is all about oh. ego. Speaking of ego, bakit ta kaubad yun ako mo to? Hindi. Hindi, hindi. Yan din. Pinoy na Pinoy trait yan, di ba? Pag nag-away. Nagubad ba siya? Oh, oh, nagubad na kagad. Oh, eh. Siguro, <laughs> siguro na-realize niya, baka pag nagsuntokan kami, masira yung polo ko. Sira yung get-up ko, di ba? Pero usual street fights, ano, pre, suntokan na tayo. Suntokan na tayo. Ano na? Ano na? Di ba? Isip ko tuloy ngayon, baka mag-attack on Titan, magkubad lahat. Ayoko na. Diba? So, so, <laughs> so next next point next point di ba sinabi niya na umalis ka na umalis mm. ka na di ba tapos finalo up niya na ayo umalis nung lalaki kasi uh, mm. clearly the guy was older and uh, he should have known better nung sinabi yeah. na nung guy na umalis ka na umalis ka na or he, he took it the next step na siguro para lang din matapos na yung yung problema mm. o yung sitwasyon mm-hmm. sinabi na lang niya kung anong gusto mong gawin gawin na natin yeah, this mm. is this is uh human it, hindi ko alam tawag yung fork, diba? This is decision making 101. Yeah. Mat, so mat lang yan. if this then then this. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where our egos play tricks on our minds mm. and on our emotions. Yes. So sinabihan na kagad siya ng lalaki, kung anong gusto mong gawin, gawin na natin. So ngayon, yung sinabihan niya yon, yung sinabihan niya na nakaaway niya, iniisip niya ngayon, ano ba to? This is a critical part of decision making na. Do mm. I move forward with this or do I yes. leave? So yes. ngayon, yung ego mo ngayon, kakausapin ka, sasabihin sa'yo, pag umalis ka, sasabihin duwag ka. Oh. Diba? Pero pagka sinabi mo naman na game or gawin na natin to, 
Kaya mo ba talaga Down, panindigan? Yun, yun. Deep down inside. Can you cash your, uh-huh. ano, your mouth? Or... Deep down inside, tatanungin mo yung sarili mo, kaya ko ba talaga to? Oh. ba? Diba? Napaaway na ba talaga ako? Oh. How will I... How will I... How am I gonna do this? ba? Diba? Ano yung That's... consequences? Sa sasakyan ko? What are the consequences? Mm. Diba? Araw so, ko, diba? so mm. kita nyo, diba? If you watch, if you watch the video, sinas- yung lalaki... Sinasabi niya, kung anong gusto mong gawin, gawin na natin. Mm-hmm. So, yung sinabihan niya, di ba, yung, yung may-ari ng kotse, napaisip siya eh. Kasi, di rin niya alam kung anong gagawin niya eh. Napatanga rin siya eh. Di ba? So, pagka ganun, nag-ano siya ngayon, nag-decision siya ngayon. Pinairal niya yung ego niya. O, oh, mm-hmm. sige, game, game, game. Ako. So, nag, ano, nagtulakan sila. Sumakay na nga siya. Bababa Sumakay na nga siya. Di ba? Nag, nagtulakan. Nag, oh. nag, never mind na yung sasabihin ng tao. Sige, mauna ka, mauna ka. Whatever. When the fight actually happened, got taken down, mounted, got oh. fucked up. Okay. Ito, ito yung parang, parang si Morgan Freeman ba yun? It, it was in this moment that he knew he <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it was here. It was here when he realized he <laughs> fucked up. Si Morgan. <laughs> ito next, yung mga uh, moments next na ganun. Point. Eh. Okay, next point. The audience. The yes. crowd. Dito mo rin wow. makikita na ang mga tao, yung mga mga buyu artist na yan, yung mga nang bubuyu na yan, tignan nyo, di ba? Sila yung nagsabi, wag nyo nga maten, wag nyo nga maten. Because they wanted sige. to see a fight. Because they no, wanted to be entertained. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted to see something out oh, of the God, ordinary. Yeah. Oh. So they said, sige, pabayaan nyo. Pero nung nakita nilang meron ng mabubugbog, sila na ito, mga siguro sunod-sunod, di ba? Oh. Swan- <laughs> Awat sila. <laughs> we were talking about social permission kasi it only takes one. And that one was this dude in a green wife beater. Yeah. Uh, actually, parang siya din yung nagbubuyo. Eh. Tapos biglang, parang isa siya oh, sa nagbubuyo. Kasi siya siya at the start of the video, makita mo naglalakad-lakad siya. Wala pang nangyayari, nandun siya naglalakad. Oh, eh. Just, just to be clear, the Tito State, this dude is a dick. Kasi... Hmm. Ano ba yung guy? Pagbubuyo ka, tapos awatin mo. Oo, oh. oh, k- kasi this is where reality sinks in. Mm-hmm. Human beings, hindi na lang mga Pilipino, have the littlest amount of what really happens in an actual fight. Kaya ako, mm-hmm. I always tell They people from my self-defense na seminars, I always tell them na, mm-hmm. have you actually been in an, in a, in an actual fight? Diba? Mm-hmm. A, a vast majority of these people have either watched the fight on TV yes. or on YouTube or on Facebook or any other social media yes. outlets. Pero they've yes. never seen an actual fight. No. They've never mm-hmm. been in an actual ano fight. Ano ba yung misconceptions, coach? Like people think people will go, oh, sige, tara, ganyan na. Diba? Oh. Yung yun, 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 sinasabi ko eh, an actual fight will only last like a minute. Or less than yeah, a minute. Yes. Mas marami pa yung tulakan, mas marami pa yung suntok, yes. mas marami pa yung tulakan, yeah. sigawan, And murahan. Just sabi like nga sa mga away bata eh, mas marami pa yung ano, ano. Oo, oh, <laughs> yun. Diba? Mas marami pa yun. Mas marami, mas pa, marami pa yun. Yes. Sa Animal nga, Kingdom, ganyan na ganyan na nakita natin, di ba? Kasi, kasi the moment you throw the first punch, kailangan tapusin mo siya or oh. kailangan itigil mo na. So, mm. ang dami. The, the, uh, I mean, This video, the reason why we wanted to discuss this video is mm-hmm. this is the realities of this is the reality of things. This is how an actual fight will go down. Mm-hmm. Okay? And another thing that we want to discuss and show everyone is this. Kung ikaw madaldal ka lang at matapang ka tapos hindi ka marunong makipag-away, yan ang mangyayari sa iyo. You gonna, get taken down in armbar. You're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get humiliated yeah. and you will Never mind na yung video eh. That person who got taken down and got beaten up for a few seconds will go home. He will go home. And then he will tell himself, Ang ina, naupakan ka. Oo. He's gonna go home. <laughs> Ganun with... din. Sapul din yung ego niya. Sapul oh, din yung ego niya. Diba? You gave in to your ego hmm. and your ego almost cost your life. Hmm. Diba? So now, oh. hindi natin alam kung anong mangyayari dun sa taong yon. It's either he's gonna be emotionally scarred for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. We don't know if he's gonna start. Uh, what do you call this? Ang gagawin niya would be he'd enrolled in a boxing gym or <laughs> to any martial arts gym so that uh. he would be educated on what to do if something happens like that. Or another one. Susunod niya bibili na ng weapon yan. Either bibili oh. na ng cuchillo or bibili na ng barrel. So something oh. like that happens again to him. Dahil na shatter yung ego niya. It's gonna be easier Baka for him. Makabalikan niya yung tao eh. Diba? Ano? 
sana hindi na sila magkita ulit right, pero that's so another oh. huge possibility. Mm-hmm. Gagawin niya ngayon is gonna look for that guy and then babawian mm-hmm. niya. Mm-hmm. Yan yung that's the vicious cycle of fighting mm-hmm. or altercation oh. na of real street fights. <laughs> ano siya, hindi matatapos yung bawi. <laughs> Gusto uh, the violence kabawi. will permeate you and oh. then beat you up kasi parang ayoko na matalo I hate that mm. feeling diba? Diba? so yung sequence na yon, that video we all got entertained we got our laughs now we're breaking it down but mm. the effects it had on those people yes. will really affect forever. them for the rest of their lives on and them will on, probably, and their families and their families and their, and, their co- and the way they treat people around them yes yeah okay are they uh-huh. going to be better people after this? Do you or... guys think that's the a fucking motor good, guy... That's a huge naman, statement. Ano na, Carl? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Do you think the guy, the motor guy... Kasi he stopped naman when... Ano, diba? mm. uh, he actually... Uh, parang, he was, he was parang actually he just, in control of the entire situation. Oh, entire time, diba? He just wanted oh. to prove a point, I guess. Na, yeah. Oh, sige. Ang kulit mo, ayaw mong umalis. Ito sa'yo. <laughs> Tsaka, nakita nyo, diba? He didn't... Alam din niya na na mas matanda yon. So what did he do? He took him down. Took him down, went yeah, to mount. I'm sad. Diba? So took take down. Spends his time behind the wheel. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's so mm-hmm. unfit. So took him down, went to mount. Then so if that guy was a bully, bully, bully talaga. Mm-hmm. Ah, alam niya yeah. mas matanda to, alam niya mas mabagal to. Na, na, mm-hmm. Sapakin niya muna siguro oh. yun. He oh. didn't have Siguro sinapak na agad yun eh. Oh. Pero hindi eh. I mean, diba? sa pakanya muna. So he was in control the entire time and then afterwards, nung pinigilan naman siya ng mga tao, nagpapigil oh. naman siya. Eh. Oh. siya. Yung mga, yung mga talagang... Laki na nagpigil eh. Pero, I mean... <laughs> pero feeling ko, ano yan, tawag dito. Pero hindi, nagpapigil din siya. If he wanted to, ano, if he really wanted to hurt yeah. that guy, would. He would, would. have hammer fist. Kasi it. it's, oh. it's, yung nangyari sa kala is not a common thing in street fights. You don't take down your opponent in a street yeah. fight. Mm. So kayo, so whoever's so, gonna... Susuntokin muna lang talaga agad eh. So whoever's gonna watch and listen to this bago po tayo magpadala sa init ng ulo, tignan yeah. nyo muna. Mag-fast forward muna kayo. I've seen mm-hmm. that so many times. Like especially mm-hmm. yung mga... Uh, yung, yung, yung nakikipag... I mean, nagkagirian lang, nagka-ano yeah. lang sa kasada, di ba? Mm-hmm. Eh, 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 it goes to show that everyone is going through something. Yes. And mm-hmm. minsan trigger, ano to eh, trigger events trigger. to eh. Oh. Na, mm-hmm. na yung pent-up emotions mo, yung, yung, yung mga hugot mo sa buhay, uh-huh. yun oh. yung mga triggers na parang bigla ka oh. na lang sa sabog. Tapos, point of no return na, magugulat ka na lang, mm-hmm. tayo, inupakan ka pala. Or, meron kang inupakan, tapos na-realize mo, this person didn't deserve it naman pala. No. Diba? Uh, we'll leave you with that. We will wrap this episode. And mm-hmm. thank you so much to everyone who's been watching us, who's been sending their comments, who's been bashing <laughs> us. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the comment coming. section is always gold. So make sure that you... Wild. <laughs> diba? If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you. We are the Titos of Fighting. I'm Franco Rulioda. Carl De Mesa and JC Reyes. My podcast is Coach Franco says JC's and Carl's is Destroy MNL. Carl has mm-hmm. uh, the yeah. Dead Drop the podcast. Dead. I also thought about uh, Drop Dead, but it wasn't as Parang ano nga eh, parang dead. Ni- <laughs> <laughs> dead Drop podcast. And then uh, follow us on social media. We're all mm-hmm. over. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to, our, subscribe to our channels, and we will see you next week on another mm-hmm. episode of Combat Sports Weekly. Bye bye. Coach Franco says, would like to thank the following sponsors for making this episode possible. My armor of choice. Never go to battle without it. Beware the robot face. I am not some crosses. Place your orders on their Facebook or Instagram pages. Just good vibes in the local jiu-jitsu scene. Check out my Ikiro Collective family at ikiro.ph. Simply better dentistry. Visit the Santos Dental Group and Oral Surgery Center. Book an appointment on their social media pages. Boost your immune system with Nano Silver Immune Support Supplement. Order your bottles on their social media pages. For local martial arts news here in the Philippines, visit Local MMA on Facebook and listen to one of my favorite podcasts, Destroy MNL.